So a few weeks ago, my friend reminded me it's Shinko season. Like, oh my god, how did I forget about it? So when my friend suggested Sushi Ashino, I was like, okay. But if you know me for my food blog, you may have read about my first visit to Ashino in 2016. I wasn't impressed then. His sushi fell apart when passed to us by hand and he was nonchalant. No offer to redo the sushi. So why return despite that, you may ask me. My friend is a trusted foodie friend. He goes to Ashino quite a fair bit and in recent times, so maybe things have improved drastically? Ashino is located in Chimes. And can I please say Chimes is like a maze. Ashino entrance is located in this corridor. Not very easy to find. I was struggling even though it isn't my first visit. We went with the $400 sushi omakase menu. Starting from the Shinko baby head. So this is a channel. It's for 15 days. So next time is camping. It's for 4 days. Blue is a scampi Look out for the loose grains as I picked up my sushi too. I put the crumb reverse Normally the herring got a lot of bones, so yes, we take yes. all the bones. Otorone, same from Boston. And I'm including this video to show some sushi were nicely needed. Mm, and this annoyed me. And if you are still watching this video, thank you. I know it's getting pretty lengthy. You have a young salmon, so this is a young salmon roach. I really love my shellfish, so I ordered an extra piece when Ashino san said hockey guy is available. Wanted seconds of the Ashika Gigai too, but no more. And my meal came out to almost $500.
I probably don't need to say more about the meal. Sushi definitely needs better consistency. But having said that, there were enjoyable netta pieces like the Ashikaki guy and the Akaza Ibi. But taste and expectation can be very subjective. I'd love to hear from you if you tried Machino.